Today is Army Day in China, the 95th birthday of the People's Liberation Army. What you just saw was part of a cel the celebration. The PLA is celebrating its birthday by preparing for war. And they're declaring it in so many words. Look at this piece from the Global Times. The PLA is sending a message through Chinese state media preparing for war. That's what it says. War against whom? The United States of America and their House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She started her tour of Asia and she will go to Taiwan as part of it. For Beijing, this is unacceptable, which explains the saber rattling, the drills, the threats, all of it. Despite everything, Pelosi is going. So what will China do? Will it launch a military response? Is the Biden administration prepared to risk that over a diplomatic visit? And if yes, why are they silent about Pelosi's plans? On Gravitas tonight, this is our cover story. Are we on the brink of another war? That's what we'll discuss. We'll start with Pelosi's plan or what we know of it. She started her Asia tour today. First stop was Singapore. Will she go to Taiwan next? There's no word from her team, no mention of Taipei on her official plan. But by all accounts, she is going. Nancy Pelosi will land in Taiwan. There's a lot of buzz in Taipei. Preparations for her arrival are on. So when will she land? Tomorrow night, that is Tuesday. And the day after, she could meet Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen. Several hotels in downtown Taipei have been booked. This is for Pelosi's delegation. Of course, she's not traveling alone. There are five other diplomatic, uh, democratic lawmakers and diplomats, I'm sure. It is believed that they will be with her in Taiwan too. And let me repeat, Washington has not confirmed any of this. Taipei too has not said anything officially. Taiwan's foreign ministry was asked about these reports. It has refused to comment. They're all silent about Pelosi's Taiwan plans. Guess who's not? China. China issued new threats to the U.S. today. We would like to tell the United States once again that China is standing by and the Chinese People's Liberation Army will never sit idly by and that China will take resolute responses and strong countermeasures to defend its sovereignty and territorial integrity. What the U.S. should do is to abide by the One China Principle and the provisions of the three Sino-U.S. joint communiques, honor President Biden's pledge and not to support Taiwan independence and not to arrange Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. China is standing by. The PLA won't sit idle. China will take strong countermeasures. This is not rhetoric. Beijing is not bluffing this time. It has plans in place if Nancy Pelosi goes to Taiwan. China will respond militarily. Its soldiers are already conducting drills. Reports say there's more in store. Beijing is said to have prepared a range of military options. An invasion of Taiwan is not on the cards right now. But China could strike militarily in other ways. And these are all tried and tested methods, like invading Taiwan's air defense zone. Chinese fighters have flown large sorties before. They could do it again, sending PLA jets to Taiwan. What are the other options? The Global Times has some ideas. China could declare air and maritime zones around Taiwan. This would create restriction zones around the islands. Then the Chinese military could be mobilized to conduct drills and display firepower. And I don't need to tell you what a security nightmare that will be for the U.S. Just imagine this. Nancy Pelosi is in Taipei and the Chinese military has surrounded Taiwan in the name of drills. It's the opposite of ideal and it's already happening at some level. Over the weekend, the PLA got into action. They conducted a live fire military exercise. It happened off the coast of the Fujian province in China. Now, Fujian is right opposite the island of Taiwan. The PLA has often conducted drills here in Fujian. And that's because of its strategic location. If China invades Taiwan, Fujian will be the launch pad. That's what most experts believe. There are other, these are all possibilities, though. And here's the worst case scenario. The Chinese military sending fighter jets to intercept Nancy Pelosi's plane and to stop her from landing in Taipei. I know it sounds a bit extreme to launch an actual military operation just to stop Pelosi. But we won't put it past China. The U.S. intelligence fears that this could happen. Even Pelosi was talking about it a few days back. I think what the president was saying is the Maybe the military was afraid our plane would get shot down or something like that by the Chinese. I don't know exactly. 
Nancy Pelosi was referring to a statement by U.S. President Joe Biden. The U.S. military had given an assessment to Biden. The generals were opposed to Pelosi's trip to Taiwan. They thought it was not a good idea. Well, it's happening now. So the U.S. military has no option but to prepare. And just like Pelosi, they're executing their plans quietly. They've moved their assets closer to Taiwan. This includes U.S. aircraft carriers and large planes. What for? Apparently to create a buffer zone. The idea is to secure the region for Pelosi's visit. Now, why do they need such elaborate arrangements? Nancy Pelosi, after all, is just a speaker. Why does she need so much security? It's because of her position in the U.S. political hierarchy. In the American system, the speaker is third in the line of succession. So U.S. President Joe Biden comes first, Vice President Kamala Harris is second, and Nancy Pelosi is third in, the line, in line for the presidency. So if for some reason the top two are incapacitated, even if temporarily, then Nancy Pelosi will serve as the U.S. president. So protecting her becomes a constitutional duty for the U.S. armed forces. And the interesting part is they're doing all of it quietly. While China is making open threats, the U.S. is hoping that Pelosi can land quietly. They can't even get themselves to declare the visit. At the same time, they don't want to be seen as backing off. More sly than superpower, we would say. Pelosi's visit was supposed to signal America's strength. It was supposed to show how the U.S. will stand up to the threats from China. But this surreptitiousness betrays how nervous they are. We'll be tracking all of this. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.